What if I told you Blackberry isn't just alive, but it's driving the car you're in right now? It's true, and the story of how they got here is one of the most surprising transformations in tech history. Remember this? Blackberry phones weren't just gadgets, they were lifelines. At its peak, Blackberry dominated the smartphone market with a staggering 43% share in the US. It wasn't just a phone, it was a symbol of power and success. But times have changed. BlackBerry is no longer about smartphones, it's about something much bigger. Today, it's quietly revolutionizing the automotive industry, securing your data, and shaping the future of driving. So, how did a company once defined by its iconic keyboard become a driving force in the future of technology? Let's dive in. BlackBerry isn't dead, it's driving your car. There was a time when BlackBerry wasn't just a phone, it was the phone. The must-have device for executives, politicians, and anyone who wanted to stay connected. In the mid-2000s, BlackBerry ruled the smartphone market, holding 43% of the U.S. share and becoming the most valuable company in Canada, worth a staggering $66 billion. Its iconic devices, like the BlackBerry Bold and Curve, were more than just tools, they were status symbols. And then there was BBM, BlackBerry Messenger. It wasn't just fast, it was addictive. For millions of people, BBM wasn't just a way to message, it was the reason to own a BlackBerry. At its peak, BlackBerry was everywhere, in airports, boardrooms, and even in the hands of world leaders. It seemed unstoppable. But as quickly as it rose to power, BlackBerry was about to face its biggest challenge yet. In 2007, the iPhone arrived, and it changed everything. In 2007, the iPhone launched, and BlackBerry never saw it coming. Touchscreens and apps were the future, and BlackBerry's iconic keyboard couldn't compete. At first, BlackBerry underestimated the threat. They believed their secure email and physical keyboard would keep them ahead. But the iPhone, followed by Android devices, completely changed what people wanted from a smartphone. BlackBerry's response was the Storm, a touchscreen phone meant to rival the iPhone. But it was riddled with problems, and users were left disappointed. By the time the Z10 arrived, it was too little, too late. BlackBerry's devices were no longer seen as cutting edge. Sales plummeted, and the stock price followed. By 2013, BlackBerry was in freefall. Its market share had evaporated, and its devices were considered outdated. The company faced a critical choice, double down on hardware or take a completely new direction. And that's when John Chen stepped in. What he did next would change everything. When John Chen took over BlackBerry in 2013, the company was on life support. His first move? No more phones. Chen understood that the world had moved on from hardware. Instead, he saw an opportunity to pivot BlackBerry into software, focusing on cybersecurity and the emerging Internet of Things. Chen wasted no time. BlackBerry acquired QNX to dominate automotive software and good technology to enhance its cybersecurity offerings. It was a bold shift from phones to protecting data and powering cars. These moves set the stage for BlackBerry's transformation into a software-first company. By leaving phones behind, Chen gave BlackBerry a new lease on life. Under Chen's leadership, BlackBerry didn't just survive, it began to thrive in a completely different market. By focusing on cybersecurity and automotive software, the company started its journey to a remarkable turnaround. What if I told you that BlackBerry now powers over 235 million vehicles worldwide? From safety systems to autonomous driving, BlackBerry isn't in your pocket anymore, it's on your dashboard. The key to this transformation was QNX, a software platform BlackBerry acquired in 2010. QNX is the backbone of modern automotive IoT, powering everything from entertainment systems to advanced driver assistance programs. It's not just about convenience, it's about safety. BlackBerry's technology ensures secure communication between vehicles, making the roads smarter and safer. And it's not just today's cars. BlackBerry is preparing for a future of fully autonomous vehicles, where secure, real-time data processing will be critical. 
In the world of connected cars, BlackBerry's QNX isn't just a player, it's a leader. And the company's expertise in cybersecurity gives it a unique edge in this space. From entertainment to safety, BlackBerry is driving the future of cars, and it's only just getting started. BlackBerry isn't just driving your car, it's protecting your data. From banks to governments, BlackBerry's cybersecurity solutions are defending the world's most critical industries. With years of experience in secure communications, BlackBerry made a natural shift to cybersecurity. Today, the company protects enterprises, financial institutions, and even government agencies from some of the most sophisticated cyber threats. In 2024 alone, BlackBerry's cybersecurity division generated $280 million in revenue. Its reputation for secure, reliable systems has made it a trusted name for businesses and governments alike. But cybersecurity isn't just about keeping data safe, it's about staying ahead of evolving threats in a hyper-connected world. From IoT devices to industrial systems, BlackBerry security solutions are helping shape a future where everything is connected and protected. In a world where data drives everything, BlackBerry's cybersecurity expertise is more essential than ever. The BlackBerry you once knew is gone. The BlackBerry driving the future of technology? It's just getting started. Today, BlackBerry stands at the intersection of cybersecurity, IoT, and automotive AI. With its expertise in secure communications and real-time data management, the company is perfectly positioned to lead the industries of tomorrow. By 2027, the automotive AI market is projected to reach $7 billion. And with 80% of automotive data expected to flow through AI algorithms by 2030, BlackBerry's expertise in securing this data will be more critical than ever. From autonomous vehicles to connected cities, BlackBerry's innovation is shaping a safer, smarter world. Its role in AI, cybersecurity, and IoT means its best days may still be ahead. BlackBerry's journey from smartphone giant to software leader is one of the most remarkable transformations in tech history. The company may no longer be in your pocket, but it's protecting your data, securing your car, and driving the future of technology. When it comes to autonomous driving, most people think of Tesla. But what if I told you BlackBerry is a quiet giant in this space, powering millions of vehicles with its software? While Tesla designs its own full-stack systems for its vehicles, BlackBerry takes a different approach. Its QNX platform focuses on providing a secure and reliable operating system for other manufacturers, powering cars made by Ford, BMW, and Toyota, to name a few. Tesla is famous for its cutting-edge AI and aggressive software updates. But BlackBerry's QNX is designed for safety and reliability above all else, making it the go-to choice for manufacturers who want secure, real-time data processing in their vehicles. Tesla's system relies heavily on a single ecosystem, while BlackBerry's software is designed to integrate across multiple platforms. This means that while Tesla is dominating its own cars, BlackBerry is quietly becoming the standard for the rest of the automotive industry. And here's the critical difference. BlackBerry's QNX prioritizes security, a factor that becomes increasingly important as cars grow more connected. Tesla may lead in innovation, but BlackBerry ensures the road is safe for everyone. In the race for autonomous driving dominance, Tesla is building the car of the future, but BlackBerry is making sure every car of the future stays secure and reliable. It's a battle of innovation versus integration, and BlackBerry is playing the long game.